Hi, Ren here for the third survival challenge video. Now, just before I get going here, I want to just quickly go over this survival documentary section. So there's a number of achievements here. If you read them, this is about performing begging, um, do robberies, find the toilet and drink. So there's a number of uh, achievements that you get by doing repeated things. It's a hundred times to do the begging. So you're going to have to repeat a number of these levels uh, to really unlock all the achievements. And then eventually you'll get this frame. Uh, and then there's some other rewards you can get as well through the redeem. So it is worth going through all this. Um, I'm mentioning it now because we're going to start seeing Lucky show up in the different levels. And Lucky has random different awards. And uh, they unlock some of these hidden achievements like a briefcase and a horse. And the interesting thing is these are actual items that have stats and they'll carry forward uh, on your challenge journey, if you will. And also another thing about the third level is uh, this is where you start seeing some randomness. Now, um, we're going to be a bit low on water to begin with. So we're going to start doing a little bit of backpacking here just to lighten the load a little bit and let's see here okay we have melons i'm going to keep that for trading i could use half a rabbit i don't think they're half a rabbit is used for any sort of trading but let's uh let's continue just for now okay we'll start off the quest if you will And zipping off. So in the last two, we didn't really um, use anything in our backpack. Here it looks like I probably could have waited a little bit on the uh, using the water. Now let's see if we can collect it correctly. Nope, that one mood went down, which means I failed to collect a bottle of mineral water. So one of the interesting things is this is one of the levels that you can repeat over and over. You'll see that a lot of the actions have a 50%. Now this is based on some statistics. As you talk to, let's see here, if you go to equipment, for example, you'll see that there's exploration stats and then there's base stats. Um, exploration stats are actually pretty important. I think they're more important than battle stats. I have a feeling, just I have strong heroes. So. Um, Finding items and choosing items from Lucky that have exploration stats actually give you a higher chance of success on a lot of those items. So we're going to later on focus on that with Lucky. All right, so my health is going down. One thing about having uh, Ellie as the brawler hero is when I actually get into combat, he heals himself. That's actually pretty handy. So I may end up a case where there's only one hero surviving, and there's actually an achievement for that. Oh, see that one kick lock failed lost the 50 percent roll so if this goes really badly and most of the rolls fail then what we want to do uh here i'm going to trade a potato for a roasted frog is, uh, is just reset the level so there we go that was like the third or fourth um roll that failed and there's one where you're asking trish for health that's probably the most important one now, i have a bit of a bug here i'm guessing there's somebody here uh, but we either beg for mercy, that failed too. Now we fight, okay. I guess he was hiding behind that barricade, so he was just off screen. Now, you can see here that my brawler, uh, Ellie, Eli, Ellie, <laughs> um, he actually healed up quite a lot there. That's because his sister has a, a healing ability in combat. It's kind of convenient. So we're going to try to search this corpse. Nope, failed. So this is not going so good as far as the rolls. This will probably be an example of where we reset. Okay, so Lucky, what you got for me? Oh, a doll. I think there's an achievement I need for that. Someone's stick. Half a Robert and Lizard Claw. So what I tend to see is there's two equipment items on the left and two food items on the right. Let's do the toy doll. Boom. And here's Trish. Oh, she's going to do 100% medication on this one. I guess that's the doll that helped. Uh, interesting. So she doesn't heal you, but you just get to get the medication. All right. That medication will give me 25% health. I could use some of these items. Uh, roasted frog's pretty good as far as bringing up your food. 
but your happiness will go down. Now, this has been a pretty terrible run as far as the 50% rolls. So I'm going to just give up. I will only do this one more time, just to sort of show show the uh, the mechanism. We'll do it again. <laughs> Takes me back to uh, the exact save point from the second stage. So I'll have zero food, zero water. Now I remember, though, that it's going to be a, a water uh, sort of reservoir that comes up. So I am not going to use water, but there wasn't any food. So let's go do some food just to keep my health from going down too much. Let's see, we got the rabbit. Let's go use the rabbit. That's a good start. And we'll top off with some sliced bread. All right. So that will stop that health. Maybe we'll do 200 water because I got 300 of these. And when I get to that water spot, that'll be a nice way to top off. Okay, let's see how this goes. See, so now we'll drink twice. That'll bring me up into a nice healthy state, 900. Let's collect the water. Oh, success on that one. So far, this is already a much better run. Let's see if it's good enough to keep it. Okay, we're going to grab the dog food, pet the dog. Oh, another one. Look at that. Two for two. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I can rescue Jaga. All right. I know that's going to use a ton of food. So I'm going to I need 500 food and 500 water to rescue. So this is kind of convenient. Rescue. Are you sure? Yes, Jaga, go. All right. Did it say rescue failed? That's kind of strange. I missed that. I'll have to go look at the video again after. <laughs> All right, we'll leave the toolbox. And let's see. So we can pick the lock in the car. So far, so good. That one worked as well. Having a much higher success rate on the 50% rolls. All right, hey, chef. Let's go for the roasted frog again. Got lots of potatoes. Ask for some food. Nope. Not that time. I think he actually gives a pretty good food, too. Let's see. So now we'll beg for mercy, whatever that is. We need to keep begging anyways for that accomplishment, whether it works or not. All right. Let's see Ellie get healed? Nope, he's not half health, so he's not going to get healed, it looks like. All right. Still so good. So we're about 60% of the way. Let's search. Good, another potato. <laughs> uh, let's keep ourselves up this time. So we're going to do water. I got a couple potatoes. All right. Can we get to talk to Lucky? What do we got here? Anything good? Baseball bat? Smoke bomb. Generally with Lucky, I'm looking for equipment. Uh, baseball bat, we lose some exploration stats for some hero increased attack. Not too keen on that. Smoke bomb is pretty nice, so we'll go with the smoke bomb. And hi Trish, you want to give us some medication? Nope, not this time. No 25% heal. All right. Keep pushing along. So we got vending machine. Look at that. With the equipment I got, though, the slap is now 100%. That was nice. We'll damage it. That was nice. And those we can actually trade for something really nice in the future levels. What was it exactly? It was a protein bar. So we're going to keep those. Um, pretty sure I can trade those for a, a much higher tier of item. Let's see. My water and food's getting kind of lowish again. Let's see what we got here. Applesauce. I'm going to save that one. Let's do the roasted frog. One of the interesting things is that I always find my happiness kind of stays up there. Uh, let's try this for now. Okay. Continue on. Just doing all these different events, it seems like every time you leave, you get another 50% boost to your mood. All right, let's see how the search goes. Ooh, we're on a roll on that one. So that was a insect cake. 
there's a trader that'll take an insect cake and give something really nice too. All right, so we're at 90%. There's a bench, so this will help bring up our health. Here we go. I'm gonna search it. Oh, this run is going very well. If I could only have rescued that Jaga from Dom. Sorry, buddy. Tried, not sure what happened there. All right, so this is the final combat. We're generally looking in pretty good shape. We're happy. A little bit of food, a little bit of water, but the backpack's looking pretty good. A lot of good trading items I can use in the future rounds. Uh, so this is going to really help going pretty far, I think. All right. So that was the end of the third stage. I've already opened the box here, which had a Daryl fragment. And these items, if it's the first time you're getting to the third stage, that's when you'd be able to open it. I've gone a little bit further on. Uh, I need to get back up to here. These sort of, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was only a bit able to go to eight, and that may be open now. So I'll end the video. Thanks for watching. Next one will be number four.